Okay, so when we talk about turning the corner, what we're talking about is where you're the player in the ball here, you're about a half step beyond this defender, this is gonna be the left back, you're the right wing in this situation, and you have an opportunity to eliminate her if you angle your touch towards the middle of the field. What that does is it puts her behind you, puts your body between the opponent and the ball, and it more or less cuts her out of the play. The most common mistake that players make in this situation is instead of taking an angled touch to cut out that opponent, they take a straight touch in this direction. Now here's the thing, this defender has a reasonably good chance of being faster than you because you have to dribble a soccer ball and she doesn't. So there's a real good chance she's gonna catch up to you. If you don't cut her out, if you don't put your body between her and the ball, you're gonna leave her an angle to put in a tackle. So the instant that you get the chance to cut this player out, you cut her out. Because now what happens is, for starters, she has to make a decision. And that decision is, does she let you go or does she foul you? If she lets you go, obviously you're in great shape. If she fouls you, then your team has won a free kick in a dangerous area, and there's an excellent chance she's gonna end up in the referee's book for that foul. So whenever possible, you need to eliminate this defender by angling your touch, turning the corner, and cutting her off. Let me put it to you one other way. If you take that straight touch, this defender couldn't be more thankful because now you've given her a chance to catch up and you've given her an angle to actually tackle the ball. So when you have the opportunity to cut her out, you've got to take advantage of it, you've got to take a daring touch, you've got to turn the corner. In this example, the winger in white has a chance to turn the corner, but instead takes her touch straight ahead. This gives the defender an angle to recover and put in a tackle. Here, and again right here, the attacker could take an angled touch to eliminate the defender and drive toward the goal. Because she doesn't, the defender has a recovery angle and makes the tackle. Watch now as the attacker takes an aggressive touch across the defender to get into the 18 and draw a penalty kick. Right here, the defender's only two options are to foul the attacker or let her go. Because she surrenders, the attacker creates a dangerous run into the penalty area. Remember the player who didn't cut off the defender in the earlier example? Watch her three years later as she uses her body to aggressively seal off the defender. Watch as she bravely cuts into the defender's path to protect the ball. Her willingness to cut into the defender's path frees her up to create a dangerous attack that leads to a goal.